This is Kool-Aid Reefer coming out you with nature's finest. I'll be releasing a series of videos covering various topics that will help both the experienced and newbie or beginner reefers. In this video, I will be discussing both copepods and amphipods. What's particularly interesting about my system is that I have no refugium, just a plain old canister filter, no UV light, and a protein skimmer by Red Sea. It's a prism skimmer. And there are thousands of these copepods and amphipods in my system. And as you can see, it is currently in night mode right now. Now there's going to be many more videos coming out and I like suggestions from you guys letting me know, you know what topics you want me to do them on. Okay, so now let's take a trip down to my 40 gallon hexagon reef tank. First we're going to turn on the white lights, these are T5s. And if you want a little blue, add that on. And this is just the blues. Switch back to just the whites. And let's take a better look. As you can see, most of the rock is covered in coralline. And there's lots of these creatures just that they're sleeping. So it's going to be hard to get them. Let's zoom in on that frog spawn there. And let's get moving. I'm going to focus it on an area where I believe there are lots and lots of these creatures. And that is over here. So just going to be a little bit patient and wait here for them. Now, in my tank, there are both copepods and amphipods. And one thing that's really interesting about them is that they're phlegmatic or they're free swimming. And they're both bottom dwelling bugs. Mm, still looking. And also, they're great food sources. To be honest, mandarins will eat these things in a second. Like, it won't even take you that long. If you have a mandarin goby, you want to make sure you have a really good population. As you can see, there's this guy already beginning to come out there. Right there. There's another one right there. Coming up. My rock is really poor, so, you know, it's easy for these guys to, you know, live in here in their, you know, tunnels, no problem. See, there we go. There we go. Running around. There he goes. Now, it's by the coral now. Here goes another one. That one's coming back. There he goes. Now, what's really interesting is that copepods are found in both marine and freshwater, while amphipods are usually found in marine aquariums. There you go, there's another one. These are on the smaller side. You're gonna be seeing a lot of them start to come out. There is another one right there. There we go, coming out of the hole. See, as you can see the shrimp really likes to get them. He's trying his best to get one of these guys. There's a worm coming out right there as you can see. 
right next to the frost pond head. Just went back in. There's two of them now. A lot of life, and all of it came just with the tank. Nothing new was added, and you can see there's one down there. It's pretty hard to see due to the fact that it's kind of hiding. You only see its antenna. It's in the tunnel, if you can see that. Most of the corals are closed up right now. And these guys usually come out at night, so you usually don't get to see them during the day. And you want to have a year or more established tank in order to get a mandarin doby, since you need a lot of these guys. And you want your tank to be stable. I will be adding a CPR 192 cyclone sump, and I will do a review on that. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for viewing my video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And this is Kool-Aid Reef signing out.